Hi everyone, it's CJ, and I want to talk to you today about creating a puzzle. And this is going to be super, super easy. Uh, basically, you just create your picture, your design, like you normally would on one of your journal pages. And then we're going to cut it apart, and I'll do some more explaining here. You can use just about any type of medium that you want to. In this case, I'm going to show you where this started off as a top layer of a napkin, and then I've added and added and added to it. Uh, I created my background first. I added some stamping, uh, put my giraffes on there, did some borders, and as you can see, turned out pretty cute. Okay. This piece is an 8 by 8 piece of cardstock. It needs to be at least cardstock weight. Otherwise, if you're just using something like uh, copy paper, computer paper, it makes it extremely difficult. So, once you've got whatever it is you're going to design or create on there, you can use like I said, just about anything that you want to, whether it's napkins or uh, if you want to paint it, stamp it, draw it, just go for it. The exception of that is if you're going to do a 3D or a layered effect on there. And that would need to be done after it's cut apart. Okay, so example would be like this side. Okay. These are dimensional, see? And what we would do is cut this apart every two inches. So if we've got eight by eight, and we know the center is going to be at four inches, so if we cut here, and we cut here for the other two inches, you can see how that's it's going to be a problem. So my suggestion is to wait and add any three-dimensional ele elements after you've cut it apart, unless you're just really slick and uh, manage to measure ahead of time. So, this is back of this. Only required to have one side with an image. I've got two sides on this simply because I uh, started this off as a deconstructed art journaling page. And that's the way you can do yours also if you want to do both sides. All right. At this point, we think about cutting it apart. Okay. So you're going to cut, you're going to measure over two, 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 two. And then you will cut and cut and cut. And then you're going to take your strips and cut those into two inch squares. Okay. You'll end up with a bunch of squares like this. Okay, and that's where the fun part comes in. Then you can start laying it out as a puzzle. And let your partner, if you decide to mail this out, figure out how to put it together. This is one in which I used a deconstructed art journaling page, so it has an image on both sides. And it's kind of like receiving two puzzles instead of just one. Let's see if I can move that over a little bit. The puzzle can then be mounted onto a piece of paper if that person wants to do that. Just like so. All right, and there is one side, okay? Now you can see here where I've done some painting, I've done some stamping, um, and just had a good time with it. Now the other side, let's turn it over. So move it this way. And we'll just turn it over. Let's see what the other side looks like. Now, of course, when your partner receives this, it's going to be all mixed up. And they're going to have to kind of go through there and try to figure out how to put it together. But with a two-inch square, 
it really is a little more difficult than what you would think. Okay, we're not making any fancy cuts, although I've done that in the past. And that's actually a little more difficult when you're trying to get the rounded edges in there. And you know, the square is just as much fun. Okay, and there is the other side. So I've actually made two puzzles. Okay, now my plastic protection sheet here is black and you can see how nice that would look if it was mounted on a black piece of paper and just kind of glued down with a little tiny bit of black showing in between there just like that just glued down I think that would be something cool you could even hang on your wall let's see here about like so okay there it is the idea is to make a puzzle. We started with a piece of paper, or actually not paper, we're going to say cardstock weight paper. That was 8 inches by 8 inches. We put a design or some type of uh, drawing picture theme on one side. If you do both sides, that's your choice. And then we cut it into 2 inch squares. So here we go. I hope you enjoy this and you have a great time. Bye-bye.